Watching Fox 10 Arizona Morning with Ron Hoon, Rick D'Amico, Alexis Del Chiaro, Andrea Robinson, and Corey McCloskey in HD. Coming up. Uh, you love barbecue, don't you? Yeah. You like know, that good barbecue. When you people bring a barbecue, when you people yeah, when I... bring a barbecue, and are you talking about putting burgers and steaks no. on the grill, or are you talking about barbecue with the sauce yeah. and, the, and the smoke yeah, yeah, and, and the smoker and, and, and all that? Yeah, you know, that's well, then, barbecue. He smokes. He likes to do the smoke and all yeah. that. Yeah, I smoke, too. Cigars. Yeah, I know okay. you do. Okay. okay, so coming up in My Taste of the Town, a chef with a passion for barbecue fulfills his dream right here in the valley, and you are going to love this restaurant. It is fantastic. I'm going to take you there in just a bit. Friday, Taste of the Town. Everyone's looking for a place to go and eat this mm -hmm. weekend. I found this spot owned by a guy who has a passion for barbecue, and he's up in Cave Creek, so I had to pay a visit to him. Of course. Take a look <laughs> and a taste. <laughs> barbecue smothered and smoked with a twist. Brian's Black Mountain Barbecue is bringing the flavors of the South to the western town of Cave Creek. Well, we live up here in Cave Creek, and we always wondered why there wasn't barbecue up here. You know, it seemed like a, a no-brainer, a perfect thing to have. Formerly trained as a chef, Brian has spent much of his career in fine dining, but barbecue had always been a passion of his. Barbecue's always been a love of mine, so I've always been an avid backyard barbecue. And a so a year ago, he and his wife decided on barbecue. We wanted to have a small menu, um, just a few items, um, but every one of them on the menu just be like really killer. Everything that we do um, are all my own recipes. Uh, we, over the years, I spent my summers just kind of fiddling around with barbecue sauce, with spice rubs and things like that. And so when I was ready to open the restaurant, I had this kind of stockpile of recipes and things that I wanted to use. And he's cooking those recipes in his smoker. The smoker basically is the heart of the whole restaurant. Um, it's, it's, it's the real deal. We, we use pecan wood. We use whole pecan logs. Um, we smoke at a low temperature. Um, allows us to, to get that real deep, smoky flavor. All right, I managed to get my make my way back here in the kitchen, and it's so busy right now. They're trying to feed everyone for lunch. But if you like French fries, you have to order this, right? What's it called, Brian? This is called the Big Pig. And it starts out with a lot of fries. Oh, definitely. A whole bunch of fries. Uh, it's basically a smothered fries. Okay, what are we going to put on it? So we start with the fries. Okay. We put on our slow-smoked barbecue pork. Oh, my. This is that pork I was saying that goes in the uh, smoker for a good 12 to 14 hours. Wow. So a good portion of that. And people love these, I hear. Oh, this is very popular, yeah. It's your opportunity to try everything on the menu in one place. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, a little bit of barbecue sauce. And again, homemade barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. These are all my recipes. Wow. Um, these are our six-pack cowboy beans. Why are they called six-pack? Um, this is a six, it's called six-pack cowboy beans because we put a six-pack of beer in every batch of beans. Well, there you go. That'll make you happy. From there, we add his homemade bread and butter jalapenos scallions, and sour cream. Oh, my. Just like that. And this is one order. Yes, that's one order. Has anyone ever eaten this whole thing? Uh, <laughs> yes, actually, surprisingly, when we first put it on the menu, I figured it was something that we could share on the table. Uh -huh. Most people eat it themselves. Not, not just like a crazy pregnant lady, right? No, like no, no. Like normal people. <laughs> okay, good. See, it's not just me. And if you're curious, it weighs in at a whopping three pounds. <laughs> that is three pounds of deliciousness. That's right. <laughs> That's really good. Want more? Try the pulled pork sandwich, a full slab of their St. Louis ribs, the Firebird chicken made with a habanero and orange honey glaze, or the beef brisket, all served with house-made baked potato salad or coleslaw. And then lastly, we got to have our greens. We even have a salad on the menu. We do. That's called our romaine rib salad. It's a, it's a play on words, um, but it's basically the ribs of the romaine with a lemon pepper vinaigrette. And we also carry that through with a little bit of our spice rub, which we actually put on our, all of our meats. And no forks with this. You just simply right. lift it up and right. take a bite, right? Yep. Wash it all down with one of their craft beers. Perfect with just about anything on the menu. Bring the family and your appetite and taste Brian's Black Mountain Barbecue. Just for the 
the record, I didn't eat three pounds of French fries, okay? So don't look at me like I did. That's what he's looking at me. He's saying, you ate that? No, I had two French fries out of it. Okay. I had to try it. Sure, that's part of the job. Exactly, but I didn't eat the whole best. So for uh, all the information, it's on our, our website, website myfoxphoenix.com. Yeah. Right Click on uh, Morning Show. And the reason we have it on our website uh, is because we have links. We have links. Uh, if in case you missed it a few moments.